So theoretically, the next step would be uh, you will sending out you'll be sending out this PO to the vendor, and the vendor, based upon the availability of the goods, will be shipping the goods to you, right? So once the goods are received in your location in your warehouse, the next step will be to receive to mark this order as received. So how to do that? You have this receive button over here on the top. You can simply click on that. And this is going to open up an item receipt page for you. So this is where you are going to your warehouse person or the person who is receiving the goods will be uh, just verifying and validating the information. So notice that you will see that this is being created from purchase order 1897, 1879, which was the PO that we created. Uh, he can enter a memo, he or she can enter a memo. They will notice that the department class is auto-populated from the PO record. And here they can see the item that is on the PO. So now what they will do is, they will physically count the goods. Uh, they will see how many goods were received on this PO. They will mark them as received. And once the quantity is validated, so let's say if they receive 10 quantities completely, they will select the quantity as 10 here. Now there might be a situation where the vendor might ship partial goods, right? Instead of sending out 10 or 10 goods, they might send you eight goods. So they will now enter eight over here and make a partial receipt against this PO. And when the remaining two will come back, they will again create a new item receipt with the two quantity. Okay. So this is this is how you know the, the warehouse team would be entering all the information on the item receipt. They will also verify the location and select the quantity. So for the sake of demo, I'm gonna select 10 quantity that you know the vendor has sent us the complete quantity and the goods are in good shape and we will mark them as received. So once everything is validated by the warehouse team person, they will simply mark this as saved. And uh, now this transaction is saved and you will notice that my on-hand quantity is now also increased by 10 quantity that was received at this point. And if I show you the GL impact really quickly, this is also very important. In the procurement process, again, you know, this could be a question for you for your interview. Like in the procurement process, when is the first GL impact created? So this is basically on the item receipt. And if I show you the GL impact. Okay. So you will notice that your accrued expenses or accrued purchases or liability is going to be credited and your inventory asset account is now debited. So this is the accounting entry that happens when you receive goods uh, via item receipt.